hello welcome in this video we will look at the derivation of convolution sum so we are going to look at derivation of the convolution sum that is given the nlti system with the input x of n that goes through an lti system lti with impulse response equal to h of n and the output is given by y of n so now for an LTI system, we want to prove that the output y of n is equal to the convolution between the input x of n and uh, the impulse response h of n. That is the unit impulse response or the unit sample response h of n. So that is the definition of the convolution sum. So in this video, we want to derive the de uh, this equation. So in order to derive the convolution sum, we need three fun uh, we need a few properties or uh, we need a few definitions and properties so we, uh, let us look at the requirements so the first requirement is the sifting property that is x of n is equal to the summation over case x of k delta of n minus k so that means this is a sifting property so that is the first requirement and the second one is the definition of impulse response that is when you send delta of n through the linear time invariant system you get h of n so that is the definition of the impulse response or the unit sample response and then the third one is the time invariant property that is uh, the third property or the third requirement is time invariance nature of time invariance property or nature of uh, lti system and the fourth one is this uh, linearity property that is the superposition principle the fourth one is superposition principle which is basically a part of the linearity property of the system now let us look at the proof start with the definition of the impulse response that is by starting with the definition of the impulse response that is when we send delta of n that is a unit sample through the linear time invariant system lti what we get is the impulse response h of n so that is the starting point now we will use the time invariance property that is the Time, in, time invariance property of the LTI system. So by using time invariance, that is when we send delta of n minus k, there is a shifted version of the impulse through the LTI system. What we get is a shifted version of the output, that is h of n minus k. So we, get, we have delta of n minus k as the input, then h of n minus k is the output. Now let us look at the uh, relation to the convolution, that is consider variations of this, this input that is consider a weighted input weighted input for example at k equal to 0 uh, we can give x of 0 as the weight so we have x of 0 multiplied by delta of n then the corresponding output will be x of 0 multiplied by h of n and again this is because of the linearity property of the system and x of 0 uh, when we multiply the input delta of n with x of 0 we get x of 0 multiplied by h of n and similarly at k equal to 1 we have x of n x of 1 into delta of n minus 1 that is the input is weighted uh, delta of n minus 1 and weighted by x of 1 we get x of 1 multiplied by h of n minus 1 so that is the corresponding output similarly for k equal to 2 we have x of 2 into delta of n minus 2 as the input and the corresponding output is x of 2 into h of n minus 2 and similarly for the negative values of k x of minus 1 multiplied by delta of n plus 1 so that is the input and the corresponding output is given by x of minus 1 into h of n plus 1 thus we have the uh, weighted inputs and the corresponding outputs now using the superposition principle that is using the superposition principle position principle when we combine all these inputs that is inputs from uh, k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity uh, that means summation over all values of k x of k delta of n minus k when we combine all the weighted impulses that is weighted shifted impulses weighted and shifted impulses as the input and the corresponding output will be the sum of the weighted uh, and shifted impulse responses that is summation over k x of k h of n minus k now from the sifting property this summation that is summation over k x of k delta of n minus k is nothing but our input x of n 
सो एक्स ऑफ एन इज इंडीड ईक्वल टू समेशन ओवर के एक्स ऑफ के डेल्ट ऑफ एन माइनस के एंड देर फोर वेन वी हैव एक्स ऑफ देर फोर वेन वी हैव एक्स ऑफ एन एज द इनपुट करस्पॉन्डिंग आउटपुट इज इंडीड ईक्वल टू द समेशन ओवर के एक्स ऑफ के एच ऑफ एन माइनस के एंड नाउ फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एल टी आई सिस्टम वेन एक्स ऑफ एन इज द इनपुट वाई ऑफ एन शुड बी द आउटपुट देर फोर द आउटपुट वाई ऑफ एन देर फोर For an for an LTI system, output y of n should be equal to summation over k x of k h of n minus k. Hence, the output is basically a convolution sum. So, to summarize, in this video, we have looked at the derivation of the convolution sum for a discrete LTI system. So, given the input x of n for a discrete LTI system, the corresponding output should be y of n, and the output the relation between the output and the input is. output y of n is equal to the summation over k of x of k multiplied by h of n minus k so in other words output y of n is a linear combination of uh, shifted values of h of n so to derive this relation we need four requirements the first one is the shifting property of the signal x of n which is basically summation over summation over k x of k delta of n minus k and then we need the definition of impulse response and then we need the time invariance property of the lti system and finally we also need the superposition principle that is linearity property uh, that is at least from linearity property so to prove this one mm, the proof basically starts with the definition of the impulse response and then we make use of the time invariance property and then uh, when delta of n is the input h of n is the output so if we shift the input that is delta of n minus k is the input then the output is h of n minus k this is because of the time invariance property and then we can also consider the weighted uh, forms of this input so when we have x of 0 multiplied by delta of n as the input the corresponding output is x of 0 h of n so in general if x of k into delta of n minus k is the input x of k into h of n minus k is the output so using the superposition principle uh, we can add all these weighted inputs and we get the summation k over k x of k delta of n minus k that is the uh, sum of the all the weighted inputs and then the corresponding output will be sum of the weighted and uh, shifted impulse responses that is summation over k x of k h of n minus k so since uh, on next using the shifting property we know that x of n is equal to the summation over k x of k delta of n minus k so the input the weighted sum of the uh, these uh, shifted impulse responses responses is basically our input x of n so when x of n is the input the output should be y of n therefore the output y of n uh, is a convolution of x of n and h of n or in other words it is equal to summation over k x of k h of n minus k thus we have derived the convolution sum for a discrete lti system thanks for watching